When you enter the new Odyssey camper, you will notice the new control panel we have, featuring the Management 30 battery management system, which manages the charge coming from your car, from the 240 and from the two 150 watt solar panels fitted to the roof. The optional Webasco diesel heater, the 1000 watt projector inverter, water tank monitors, and all the switching systems for turning lights, water pumps, and fridges on and off. The Management 30 system, you will notice, has four buttons. We can scroll through the buttons, and it shows us, at the moment, we have our solar panels are producing power to the batteries. The second one down shows us our 240 charge, and as we're not plugged into 240, we have no charge showing. The that last one down is our feed coming from our car. Again, as our car is not plugged in, we are not showing anything. The next button shows our output from our batteries, showing the amperage rating. When it is plugged into 240 or the solars, it'll show an input into the batteries. And next this and down just gives us all our data. We can also push these two buttons here and hold them, and it will tell us our battery system, whether we're running a lithium system or we're running a standard AGM type system. Our new 12 volt switching panel consists of a master accessory switch which turns all 12 volt accessories on and off. Next to that we have our outside light. We have white light for up and amber light for down. There is also the switch for the opposite side of the van. Next to that we have our water pump. Next to that we have our fridge. The fridge circuit is the only circuit on the van that cannot be turned off with our main accessories, allowing you to turn all 12 volt off but still have your fridge running if desired. There is also a spare one if you require extra accessories fitted. As part of the safety standards, we incorporate a fully charged fire extinguisher. Hopefully you will never need to use it. To keep with the high standard of product we are supplying, we have a Vitrofrigo Italian fridge. It is a 76 litre fridge, incorporating freezer compartment and standard fridge compartment. You will notice how the door opens outwards, allowing access from outside to get into your fridge. As I mentioned earlier on, the fridge will stay on even though your 12 volt accessory has been turned off. Next to our fridge, we have a standard car radio system. It is Bluetooth and also has USB facilities on it. Below the stereo, we have a three drawer storage facility. We have cupboards on this side and cupboards on this side. Like the outside kitchen, all our drawers are soft closing. It's just a simple matter of closing to there and they will close automatically. Pushing the locking button will allow the drawer to remain locked while you are traveling. Underneath the sink, we supply you with a chemical porta potty. It simply pulls out and fits neatly into the space provided down here. Or if you prefer, you can take it outside and put it into the shower facilities. We have two power points in the Odyssey off-road camper. One for mains and one for inverter. In the kitchen area, you will see there are also two power points, one mains and again, one for inverter. In the kitchen area, we have a standard sink hot and cold running water, overhead lighting facility, which can be turned on and off with its own switch. Three burner gas hob, featuring its own igniting system, and three auto cutting off switches. Inside the auto igniter, there is a little standard AA battery. If it fails to ignite, just change the battery. Also in the lid we have incorporated a gas micro switch so if for any reason the lid did fall down automatically the gas will be turned off. As with the outside, inside the kitchen area we are supplied with a TV antenna outlet point and also a 12 volt outlet point. Mains and the second mains down below which is run off the inverter. Bearing in mind that when you are not using the inverter, we recommend you do turn off to maximize your battery power. As we move around the van, you will notice in each corner, there are two speakers which are working off the car radio system. Overhead lights for reading at night time. They have their own separate switches, so one person can have theirs on while the other person is sleeping. They also will move around and rotate. 
On this side of the wall, we have what we call a gimbal fan. Release the mechanism, it moves to you, it can rotate this way and it can rotate this way. Push the button, it has three speed settings. It also has a facility where it can be turned on for two hours, four hours, six hours or eight hours. Then it will automatically turn itself off. Being an off-road camper, we, re we recommend it. with this particular fan is that it is removed during travel. It's a simple case of pulling out the 12 volt connector, lifting the fan off his mount and pulling it away from the wall. As part of the extra safety features we have in the Odyssey, we have a standard a smoke detector. Again, hopefully you will not need to be using that. We also have a positive pressure vent which allows air into the van. If there is a gas leak in the van, it will allow air into the van and also out through the bottom of our door. You will notice at the moment that our bed is down. This is the recommended position while driving the van and obviously for nighttime sleeping. During the day, the bed just simply lifts up. It has been perfectly balanced with two hydraulic rams, making it very easy to lift up and down. Once the bed is lifted up, it gives us access to our two under the bed storage um, containers. Simply lift them up and you can pop whatever you want under there. They have the facility where they can be hooked on here on both sides, allowing the lids to come up and down when the bed comes up and down. We also have either side of the bed storage for books, torches and anything else you wish to keep there. There are two latches which will lock the bed down whilst in the travelling mode. Under the swab on this side we have all our plumbing and hot water systems. Truma gas hot water system, Flowjet water pump, our optional Wabasco hot air system, heating system, two one micron water filters. We also have our cut off gas tap if we wish to turn the gas off to the hot water service, draining systems and our two pickups for our water tanks. As we know this vehicle van only has one water tank. If you had a second water tank you can turn that on and access that water. As we mentioned on the entrance to the vehicle, we have the Red Arc Management 30 system. This is the whole system here. On these cables here we have our Anderson plugs, we have our solar panels and we have our charging system going out to our batteries. On the front panel we have the hot water system. It has two settings. It has 70 degrees and it will have 60 degrees and off in the middle position. Also have a night light which as we mentioned earlier on, is not part of the main accessory system. So even if the 12 volt accessory is turned off, you will still be able to have the night light on. Underneath our dinette, on the opposite side of the van, we have our 12 volt battery system. Starting with two 120 amp hour AGM batteries, our 1000 watt inverter, and all our fuse and management system. All the fuses in the small box are 24 hour, meaning they cannot be turned off with the master accessory switch. All the fuses on this panel can be turned off. Each fuse is individually marked and we do provide you with spare fuses on the back of the fuse panel. Resettable circuit breakers, master relays, we have a shunt which measures the input and the output of your batteries allowing you to maintain your batteries to the optimum level. On the front panel, removing this access port gives you access to the two 240 RCDs. One for the inverter, one for the mains. One thing you will notice if you are riding on a lot of rough roads, these can tend to spring up. If you find you do not have any 240 when you come to stop for the night, check that they have not tripped and just simply reset them again. When the van is in day mode, we have the facility to put a table between the two dinettes. That is stored underneath our bed. It is a simple matter of pulling out the pole, slotting it 
and locking it into position. We then have this neat little gooseneck facility which allows us to move our table in many different directions and finally our tabletop itself. Once it is in you can see how the table can move in many different directions. And putting it back is just a simple matter of reversing the process. As one of our safety checks we do before we are driving off, we make sure that our bed is in the stowed position. It's just a simple matter of pulling the bed down to the nighttime position, reaching across and locking our two lockdown catches on either side of the bed.